Let's look at question 13. I'm going to do spoilers on this one, so I'm going to tell you the answer is B. But the answer, reason for it to be B, is let's have a look at C first of all. The OH minus um, going to take the H, but then this HC should go between the two carbons to form but2ene. So in this case, you're getting some kind of uh, strange mechanism here where it's going on to the C and I don't know why that would be. The H, the bond from the C to the H goes between the two carbons, not onto the carbon. That's a strange mechanism. Uh, D is some kind of elimination reaction here. So it's some kind of nucleophilic substitution reaction rather where the OH is bonding to the C and the BR is being released. So you'd end up with um, a secondary alcohol here with the OH on here and the BR being released. So that's acting as a nucleophile and nucleophilic substitution reaction. But it's not going to form a carbon to carbon double bond. So C and D are incorrect. Let's have a look at A and B then. Going for an H. So the OH minus attacking an H. The H, the electrons from the H going between the C and the BR being released. That looks very promising. And the OH minus uh, reacting with the H, the bond going between the two Cs and the BR being released. And that's a perfectly good mechanism as well. The only difference is that this one's going to form a double bond here between the carbon number one and carbon number two. So you're going to end up with um, two methyl but 3 ene whereas this one you'll end up with 1, 2, 2 methyl but 2 ene because the double bond will be here at carbon number 1, 2. So this one's correct. So let's just have a look again. The OH minus removing the H to form water. The double bond, the bond here going to form a double bond in the middle here between these two carbons and the Br being released as Br minus and carbon number one, two, two methyl butene. So that's your correct answer is B.